walking tour through Omega Mart in Area 15 in Las Vegas and my review of Is It Worth It? Now, if you haven't heard of Omega Mart, I wonder how you ended up watching this video, but if you haven't heard of it, let me tell you a little bit about it as we walk through here. So, Omega Mart just opened this year in 2021 in Las Vegas. It is the hottest attraction this year. It's by this artist collective called Meow Wolf, and it's basically an interactive art exhibit that is a supermarket, an advanced research area, and a warehouse. And it is Las Vegas, so yes, in fact, it has a bar too that you can see right here. Capacity of 58 people right in this little bar. Now, admission into Omega Mart is $49 for adults. And so that's also why I'm gonna be sharing with you after we walk through here, is it worth it? Is it worth $49? Because that's pretty expensive for a Las Vegas attraction. Now, this front part is the supermarket. I mentioned upstairs, there's Dramcore, and then there's the factory. So if you wanna to skip to one of those areas, feel free to go ahead and find the timestamps or my review, you'll also find in the description. Starting here in the supermarket section, yes, it's an actual supermarket. There are checkout stands. You actually can buy the things here. It's not really meant for buying things, but you can really meant for pictures and just experiencing it. You can see right back here, there's a little butcher shop where family meets freedom. But if you look at the meats that are in this case, what have we got in here? We've got the birth of Venus party platter, grade Omega ham pack, salad Purdue. And you can see everything in here is art. There's over 300 artists that worked on what's inside this place, things that look like things that are aliens. And of course you can even get like a bust of ground beef right there. And uh, there's what looks like Campbell's canned soup right here. But this canned soup is actually Camel's meal substitute, hint of husks. Sump, sump, not soup. It's missing the U. <clears throat> Here in the what toothpaste section, we've got tooth slime. Try the whale song. There's deodorant. You can get the whale song deodorant right there. Calling for peace. Does that soap actually work? I wonder. Now, uh, right here in the dairy section, this is kind of interesting because you see there's like a glitch in the environment with the dairy. We've got like a technical glitch right there. I mentioned uh, is Meow Wolf that runs Omega Mart. So here in the cat food section, you can see it's the Meow Wolf uh, cat stuff. There's some stuff that I guess they didn't make like this little Fred uh, sushi push pin tacks. They've got little pillows down there. It is really impossible for me to walk you through this entire exhibit because there is so much stuff here, uh, but I will get you a good walk through, but just say we're absolutely not gonna see everything. Now, when you come here, in addition to walking through it, there's also a um, training experience you can get. You can get one of these cards, then you can be trained to be an employee. Now, I mentioned that there's uh, three sections. One of the ways to get to those sections is right here through this cooler. And if you pop back in here, then you can see this brings us into the little town where the factory is. I'm gonna show you this after we're done with the supermarket. So we're gonna pop back through the cooler into the market. There's a few of these little things. There's this little cooler. There's things you can crawl through. None of them are particularly obvious. And I think that's kinda the way they like it. Here's the cereal section. This is the rumored associates section. Uh, the Tote Duo Flakes potentially affiliated with raisins. We've got Crisper Crunch off-road health nuggets. Uh, and they also let us know right here, attention to Mega Mart shoppers, they recently had an overstocking of oranges. To combat this issue, they introduced a handful of scorpions 
Uh, and then it goes on to let you know um, that if you don't have scorpions in your box, there might be spiders. They've really tried to make this look as much like an actual supermarket as possible. And these things are food, like this is the hot sauce aisle and the prices that they have on it are the real prices. $9.99 for the hot sauce here. Though you can't eat or drink anything in the store, you have to buy it and take it to go later. I don't know, I'll see if there's something I wanna buy. It looks like I'd wanna get a Slurpee here, but this is angel slime and primordial ooze. This is the little outdoor recreation section. Oh, and we have now hit the glitch in the universe. You can see the whole uh, store kind of has like this creative lighting. And, uh, hi. Oh, right on. Thank you very much. Oh, awesome. That's very kind of you. I'm just doing a video here on Omega Mart. So, that's cool. Nice to meet you. Thanks for saying hey. <laughs> Bye. It's always a pleasure to see some fellow explorers. If you couldn't hear them, they said uh, they watched my videos on YouTube and I'm the reason they do a lot of their stuff. So fellow explorers, when you watch this video, thanks for saying, hey, I love it. This is the produce section. And uh, <clears throat> they've got these things to talk about what's going on in produce. America's forgotten vegetable, zalg. What is zalg? Yeah, so these things, these are art. You can't buy these, but you can bring home a broccoli pillow for $30.99 if you wanted to. Um, and like, see this little art? This is like a watermelon, but it's got this LED screen on it. Uh, we got apples right here. And uh, this area with the roses, this is another area to go back into the town. And uh, then you can see there's some interesting flowers here in the floral section. This is organic rose beef, nature's beefiest flower restrooms on both floors. And then this staircase that says employee micro break room. You might think that this is for employees only, but this is the staircase that takes you up to Dram Corp. Uh, whether you want to walk it in this way or you want to go through the town, there's no real way to do this. And they don't hand you a map and they don't really give you any instructions. Like just walking through the place is part of the experience. By the way, if you notice the video, our sound looks a little different now than right in the introduction. It's because they told me I couldn't use my gimbal. So now I'm on a uh, DJI Osmo Pocket 2. I walked through this once before, so I know that there's a handle here to make this a door to go into Dram Corp. But you see, there's so many things in here that you can explore it over and over again for hours and hours and hours. Dram Corp, we've got these things. Oh, and by the way, this window looks out on Area 15, the main kind of mall that this is in. So this would be, I suppose, we walked in this door, the entrance to Dramcore, where we've got a little robot here to greet us. The receptionist, of course, is a AI receptionist. Reception bot is the receptionist's name. We can type things to it here and ask it a question, and uh, then, you know, let's we'll see, does it give us an answer? Curious. I don't know what that means. Oh, Reynolds has a lot of technical knowledge, though. Yeah, curious. I don't know what that means. I don't know what it means either. This looks like some, you know, like a company setup where you've got some memorabilia about Dramcore. And uh, that's the door that on the other side was the locker room. So let's go ahead and work in, walk in to their research division. Now, I, I want to mention there's like a lot of strobe lights in here. And so, uh, if you don't like strobe lights, skip ahead a few minutes. But there's this room, which has strobe lights, and then it takes a picture of you and projects it on the wall. This is really hard to see with, uh, you know, a camera. But if you like strobe lights, definitely check that out. That room wigs me out just a little bit. Now, this hallway over here, this will bring you over to the factory area that we're gonna check out in just a second, but I do like this hallway, so I wanted to show you what this hallway looks like. This is definitely one of those like cool 
Instagram selfie spot to take it in here. Now, obviously challenging right now in the, in the world of mask wearing to take good selfies in here, uh, but uh, when the masks are off, come back to that hallway and get some good selfies. The lights make some interesting reflections up at the top, and they made this whole experience feel really real, right? They've got like portraits of, you know, the imaginary people that work in Dramcore. And these doors, if you didn't know they were here, you'd never go in. They've got this room called the Infinitizer, and inside this room, it's got a whole bunch of mirrors that make it look like an infinite room. It just keeps on going and going. Here, you see me in it. This that I touch right here is a mirror, but there are these statues in the corner of the room that it's just like one fourth of the statue, but then the mirrors make it seem like a whole bunch of different statues. Pretty trippy spot. And when you walk in here, it's just, you know, these staff members, they kind of hang out, greet you, keep it safe. They wear clothing representative of the area that they're in. So all the people in this area wear the lab coats for the advanced research division. Now, this thing has lasers, and this is super hard to see, but if you put your hand through it, then it actually makes music in here. Okay, since this just looks black on the screen, let's go ahead and get out of the really black room. But that room was called the Luxophone. Okay, and then this looks like the room that people would be doing some work in right here. Uh, there's one other room right here called the Meta Worm. This looks like some advanced research thing, also really quite dark. I'm not sure what they're working on in here. And I'm sure there's like a whole story that unfolds in this place. And there's actually someone else who did a video about the whole story behind this place. Like what is uh, Dramcore? What is Omega Mart? Is it aliens? Um, so you can watch that video if you really want to know the background on it. I'm just experiencing from a the same way you would experience it about walkthrough. This is the Dramcore advanced research team. You can see some of the things they're working on right here. Some interesting goopy sort of things. An Osmo Citron. I mean, the creativity to come up with all this stuff is really quite impressive. It reminds me from an immersive experience, kind of like something that Disney would do, like at Disneyland. Uh, but and I think they get the immersion right, but um, the staff don't really act in character here. So if you go to like Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, their staff act in character, which makes it feel uh, so much more immersive. Maybe that's something they're gonna do, but the employees here definitely felt like employees of uh, you know, Omega Mart Area 15, not of the imaginary one. There are these little rooms here. These are great selfie rooms too. Get your pictures with these interesting backgrounds in here. You can see they've got some seats that you can sit in. Everything is just really trippy. I I've never seen anything like this. This reminds me out of Mark Zuckerberg's Metaverse presentation where he talked about like this augmented reality art. You don't need the augmented reality art. You can do that. And now there's even like hallways you go through that you have to crawl through. I'm gonna go through that in just a second. But there are so many different ways to get anywhere uh, that the possibilities are really endless. So let's go ahead and go through this little space just because it's kind of fun sometimes to duck down and go through things. Uh, I'm six feet tall and this tunnel is about three feet tall. It's nice that they've had the top for people like me so that we don't hit our heads. Okay, so we can see the, um, what, it looks like the security cameras for Dramcore right here. And uh, you can see this is for human element acquisitions, essence preparation, scrutinize. Kind of displays up there. Uh, maybe I didn't prepare my essence enough. Oh, you can see the essence, the soul is preparing now. And now I can scrutinize it. When I said 
Now, do we need to do some emergency cooling? We can push this button. We can work with the flow visualizer. We can push the, like everything in here like works and does something, which is also super impressive. And this spot is just one of my favorite like view spots in here of all these different tunnels and catwalks and slides. Did I mention slides? There are three slides that you can take. There's one from the tippy top level over there. There's a second one from this level. And there's a third one we will see that way here. So it looks like the giant grasshoppers or the scorpions that they're working on. Uh, the third slide is uh, right over here. And uh, you can just see it says, uh, caution, do not wear slippery clothing. And, uh, but uh, you take that, and that's a good way to get down instead of having to walk down. Okay, let's see, he's gonna go in that slide and then emerge from the bottom. They give you little booties to wear on your shoes so that you don't make the slide dirty and you don't get stuck. And then down here is the town that the um, research division or the factory now that we're walking through is located in. So we've left the research division and now this is the factory. Okay, there was that hallway that we saw earlier, where we began with the Dramcourt lobby. And we can descend down this staircase. This is, by the way, a really steep staircase. Uh, so this is one where you definitely want to use the handrail if you come down here. I'm gonna use the right handrail and hold my camera with my left hand. This is the area where when I walked through that cooler earlier, I came back through here. And uh, so this is the town. It's got a name for the town over here, but they've got like, uh, like a garage. And um, the town is seven monolith village, population uh, 2,412, 1987, 381. Clearly not a lot of people still living here in the Monument Village, probably because of this, like a slime that's on the floor. I guess it's a little bit polluted, but there's really interesting, psychedelic, trippy artwork in here. There's also more little tunnels back here that you can explore, good for the little ones or people who can duck down. That one's almost a little too small for me. And the interesting part about walking through here is everybody walks through here very, very slowly because you don't, like there's not really like a destination. The experience is just walking through. Now these are the other two slides right here. Now you can see they're lit up. They're currently not running these at the moment when I was here because they were down for some sort of maintenance. They said they hope to open them at six, so I uh, hope to be able to go on those rides. The training program is like these little screens that are through here. If you take your card and push it on here, you boop here, then it tells you like, hey, welcome employee. And you can see like how you're doing with your different missions. Then you can see I haven't really gotten that far on my missions. Little corner over here in the town. It, it reminds me a little bit uh, for anybody who's played the game like Fallout uh, with like the advanced, you know, sort of nuclear, uh, advanced nuclear explosion that, you know, the world is set now some weird dystopian place. And let's go ahead and go back this way so you can see the front part of the town you didn't get to see. This is one of the uh, entrances from the supermarket into the area. You can see the bright fluorescent supermarket lights back there. They really made it, I think, so that you come into the supermarket and then it takes you a long time to figure out that this is back here. Although, I guess now that you've watched this video, it's a little bit of a spoiler alert, but hopefully you're enjoying this video too. And I don't think it'll be spoiled because I don't think I could watch this and then quite appreciate the magnitude of what I would actually 
great experience when I get here. So when we walked in through the soda container, this is what we walked into. Uh, this is the garage. There's some sparkly things back there. That's the soda hallway. You can like read some things. There's even like pamphlets uh, that you can pick up about the Fort Paranorma tour, self-guided tour info that you can do in here. Okay, I need to put that back in there. Okay, now let's uh, exit the garage through this door and see this last part of the experience. There's some little houses in the town. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like somebody's missing. Hopefully we can find her. This looks like a little girl's makeup table in here. Um, some fizzy jars, a salt lamp. Um, but the, like a little computer over here. Select your name. Oh, I guess this is where we can actually do one of the exercises. So if we move here, then uh, welcome Marin and we can do some of our training or pull-ups and things but in order to to use this stuff uh, you have to get one of these cards that you can't see now you have to get one of these boop here cards that you can get from some of the employees out in the supermarket if you tell them you want to take the training employee training for Omega Mart and in this little corner right back here we have a whoop, interesting video right on this screen I'm not sure exactly what that's supposed to be but this brings us to the final corner of the experience and now that we've walked through all of Omega Mart the question is is it worth $49 I think so I have never been to anything anywhere like this in the world as I mentioned, you can easily spend hours in here. I think I'll have spent about two hours in here and I have just brushed the surface. I think if I were planning it again, I might actually plan for three or four hours to come here. There really is that much stuff to see and do. So if you come to Vegas, definitely check out Omega Mart. Uh, if you're coming during a busy time, you might want to buy the tickets online because they do have timed windows for them. Uh, and there's a whole bunch more to see out in Area 15. You could easily spend an entire day just in this one building. Well, fellow explorers, I hope you do come to Omega Mart, um, but don't bring your gimbal and don't bring your selfie stick and don't bring your DSLR camera because they won't let you use any of those, but I don't hold that against them because it's an awesome place. If you want to see more of my videos on Las Vegas, you can click right here for my entire Las Vegas playlist, or you'll find a couple other ones here on your screen and in the description below that you might be interested in. As usual, I won't say goodbye because I'll see you in one of those videos.